The decor of the building is absolutely phenomenal. It's a very, very rare example now of an almost intact Edwardian swimming bath. You couldn't create something like this today. It's like no other swimming baths in Birmingham. It's got so many of its original fixtures and fittings here and if they're lost at Mosey Road Bars, they're not just lost for Borsal Heath, for Birmingham, they're lost for the nation. This is our architectural, our social, our industrial heritage in this building. Uh, it tells the story of the lives of people who didn't have baths, who used to have to come here and get a bath. It tells the history of the, the rise of the working class um, and the, the introduction of leisure. Uh, it's lovely to swim here and it's lovely to be part of that history. I like the feel and the vibration of it. People are very friendly. Swimming is my yoga. I find it utterly relaxing. I think it's the perfect form of exercise. I just like going in the pool. About. Same diving in. I have a back condition. Um, I tend to come and swim because it does help me a lot. I love to see um, all the um, parents bringing their tiny babies here to swim. She comes here once a week. It would be a shame if they closed down. It is a wonderful place to just to, to be uh, and to have fun with the family. We set up a swim club, um, let's be a gay swim club, Birmingham's first. I live locally, I absolutely love coming for a swim at the baths every week. It's a really special part of um, my week because I get a little bit of time to myself um, and it keeps me fit and it makes me feel much better. It's just a very um, luxurious experience. Mark and I and some of the other guys in the group are volunteer lifeguards for the group at both this baths and other ones around Birmingham as well. And uh, we also do water polo, uh, which is uh, part of the, uh, the Mosley Shoals Club. My parents, my, my granddad, would use these baths uh, actually to get ready for Friday prayers. And there were times when I came here for a, a good, huge, big, hot bath. When we come here, we see the history behind all the pictures around and been open since the 1800s. Uh, 1907. 1907s. It's just amazing when I think about it. I remember growing up and coming here uh, from Tyndall Street School. There were people from all backgrounds, all walks of life, uh, coming together, swimming together, and getting to know one another. It is such a central uh, part of, of the community. It's a way in which we all, you know, our diversified community can be brought together, can be unified. Yeah, I just love the mix of people that are here. It's a friendly staff that are very committed to the, the pool and to its continued existence. They're very supportive as well with the, uh, the lifeguarding and the lifeguard training. This is the sort of place that needs saving. It really does need a bit of love, care and attention um, because it's such an iconic building. If Mercy Road Baths closed then we would probably need to get three buses over to Spark Hill Baths which would just mean that we, we wouldn't swim. I hope that we can keep these baths going. It means so much to the community. If we can get this building invested in and with a new life breathed into it, it would regenerate other buildings too. I want more for my children and more for my community than dilapidated, empty buildings. I want us to be able to come together and join together and um, to be able to swim together in, in a palace because that's what Borsal Heath deserves. You're going to go to the Olympics when you grow up. Swimmer.